if your Chromebook starts to misbehave and you suspect the issue is related to hardware rather than software, you can use a diagnostic tool built into Chrome OS to help you determine what hardware component may be causing the issue. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you run a diagnostic test on a Google Chromebook. While there are a number of different ways to find the diagnostic app in Chrome OS, we're simply going to use the search to locate and load the diagnostic app. When we first open Diagnostics, we're presented with the hardware tests that we can run on our computer. However, let's start by running a connectivity test. When we select connectivity from the sidebar, the test will automatically start by checking the access our computer has to the internet. We are also provided with additional information relating specifically to our internet connection. This information includes our computer's IP address, the name of the wireless access point we are using, its wireless signal strength, and the wireless channel we are connected to. If we select the Chevron next to IP configuration, we can see information regarding our router's IP address, its subnet mask, and which DNS servers we are using. Let's select System from the sidebar and take a look at the three tests that we can run on our computer. These tests consist of a battery test, a CPU test, and a memory test. The first test checks the battery on our Chromebook by running a charge or discharge test, depending on whether our computer is plugged into the mains or running from battery. We are also presented with information about the current state of our battery, so not only do we see how much charge our battery has left, we're also shown information about how many times the battery has gone through a full charge cycle and the rate our computer is able to charge or discharge its battery. As our Chromebook is currently running on battery, we will be testing its discharge rate. So let's start the discharge test. Once the test has been completed, we're presented with the results, which will either report a pass or a fail. However, if the charge or discharge rate is very low, this might indicate that we have a problem with either the battery or the charging port on our computer. Next, we have the CPU test, which will display information about the current state of our computer's processor. So not only can we see the make and model of the processor that our computer is using, we can also see how hard the processor is currently working along with its temperature. The CPU test will take roughly four minutes to complete and consists of four sub-tests. The stress test simply sees how well the CPU handles being run at 100%. The cache test checks for something called cache coherence by checking that on a multi-core processor, the number of caches that are being used are all properly being synced. The floating point accuracy test checks the accuracy of the part of the CPU that handles mathematical calculations. Finally, we have the prime search test, which checks to see how fast the CPU can search for prime numbers. As our CPU passed its diagnostic test, let's move on to the memory test. Once again, we're presented with some information, this time related to how much memory our computer is currently using. Let's run the memory test. However, before we start, it should be noted that this test will take between 15 and 20 minutes to complete. While the memory test does not tell you exactly what it is doing, it is checking your RAM for anything that might cause applications to crash, make your computer freeze, corrupt data, or make your computer reboot itself. When the memory test finally completes, we're presented with the results of the test. As our computer has passed all three diagnostic tests, we now know that the hardware in our Chromebook is working as it should.